You don't know what you're doing. You need Lucas to help you. You're confused. Just as I was. Lost. Contained in your own little world. You were here before. Talk to me. Max. You got ten minutes, Luke. Better hurry to the extraction point. I'm trying. Luke? Luke? What? Looks like someone else is crashing this party. Is this another virus? Oh, it looks like another hacker. And they're coming right at you. Go to the extraction point, Luke. No, it's the shot. Exactly your best advice. Dropped your keys. You all right? You know, Maxi, I would really appreciate it if you had a mat here so I wouldn't fall on my head and die. Please. The name's Maximus, not Maxi. We've been over this a thousand times. And if there's anything in your head worth protecting, I might consider putting a mat there. Here. Thank you. Kayak magazine? Thought we could break his vacation so hard. Let's go. Where to? Get the money, then eat. Okay, but you're paying. I always pay. If you insist, I mean. How's your job? You still work at that hospital? Uh, no, they, they fired me for starting that amputee wrestling league. <laughs> I mean, really, what do we have hospitals for? We, we don't even use them. Yeah, but now I, uh, I use the, I work over at the Blue Box on 407 now. Yeah? They pay better? No, I don't, I don't get paid at all. Yeah, I, I couldn't pay my rent, so I actually moved into the Blue Box. Then how is the place? God, it's horrible. No one wants to rent anymore. God, not with all this cyberspace shit. Go figure. Yeah. That's right, go freaking figure. I mean, people are too lazy to get off their goddamn ass to pay one dollar so I can squeeze out a DVD. Except hipsters. Hipster money is negative. Well, it could be worse. They could be cyber hipsters. What are cyber hipsters? They're pretty underground. You probably never heard of them. How do you watch movies? <laughs> so, uh, so how much money did we make? Two hundred dollars. How's your cat? Nice. And remember, your pain. Gotta, gotta be frugal these days. Here's your sandwich. And here's your chips and pistachios. And your endless chips. And your endless pistachios. And your pizza. Just what I got. Oh. What are you gonna do now? I 
gonna find some more hack work if we can get it. Oh, I'm gonna help, uh, one with uh, some bigger bucks comes up. I'll take a worm job, uh, fish burning, you know, whatever. I'll even take a Trojan. <laughs> Not to you. Yeah, who are those guys? I don't know. I don't think they hear the neuralizers though. We'll play the blues. Go get some more gift cards before we go. You have knives, pussies. And scissors. Okay, that was kind of cool. Yeah. I think we need a little chat. You're paying. Well, I don't know what you two cowgirls have been up to this past week, but I got a job for you. A real job. What's that? Terminal X. Ever hear of it? Yeah. Cyberspace. That's right. Cyberspace. That's where I'm sending both of you two. How many people would want to hack into Terminal X? Who are you? Berkeley. Former navigational expert for a hack in the box. I sent a group of cyber punchers into Terminal X. Wait, you're talking about Terminal X? That's cyberspace's operating system. And not porn, which is very misleading. Yeah, well, I sent them to Terminal X anyway. Well, that's stupid. Why'd you do that? Well, the world depends upon this cyberspace. If I control it, people have to go through me to access it. I could control the future, the internet, the virtual world. I could be a god. <laughs> uh, excuse me. But my team failed and they captured my best cyber puncher, Lucas. What do you want us to do? I want you to assemble your team, get into Terminal X, upload this virus, and release Lucas. What's the pay? Two billion dollars each. Are you all right, Maximus? I don't want any part of this. Is that because you're suspended from cyberspace? Wait, what? I thought you just didn't care to. Do this one job for me, Max. I'll have your suspension lifted and grant you free access to the cyberspace. I'll get back to you in three weeks. Oh, come on, say something, damn it! It's two billion dollars. I mean, think what you could do with all that money. I mean, you could buy like four houses. Uh, you could get a, an apartment in New York. You could buy Africa. Or bitches. All the bitches. It won't be that easy. What? The, the mission? No, the bitches. 
What do we do? We we rescue this guy and we upload a virus. In Terminal X. A Terminal X. You see you see you see that shit in movies. What what is it? A rescue mission? How'd you get suspended? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. What are we gonna do now? We're just gonna sit here and do nothing? We'll need a good team to get into Terminal X. A strategist to make the plans and a monitor to track us. I know a strategist. He's a school teacher down the street. Arch. A school teacher? He used to be a mission strategist for cyber punchers. Worked with him on a few couple of simple missions. Then he found a girl, married her with two children. Now he teaches a computer networking class to help the future cyber workers understand the concept of cyberspace. Here's his picture. He looks like a kid. He is a kid. You think he'd be willing to hack into Terminal X? I'm sure I could persuade him. Terminal X? Yes. Terminal X. We need you to make us a plan. No, 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 no. I quit hacking years ago. I have a wife now. And kids. We adopted one. Look, I gave up hacking years ago. It's illegal and I have an obligation to protect my students from it. I'm a teacher now, and I've never been this happy. This is where I belong. It pays two billion dollars. I quit. Wait, you're giving up teaching? Hell yeah! Why? Luke, let's be honest. Nobody's a teacher because they want to be. It doesn't pay enough. You know that chalk that they use? It's not even chalk. It's like the candy sticks they hand out at Halloween. Well, you gotta do something with them. I don't think they're edible. I can't even afford a movie rental. Do you know how pathetic it feels to have to use a blue box? Well, it's nice to have you on the team. Wait one second. How am I going to convince my wife? Business trip? So, what was this thing you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, uh, oh. A, a business trip, honey. Uh, maybe for a few days. A business trip? Where to? Uh, Vancouver? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I knew I could always trust you. You married in high school, after all. Okay, uh, well then. Liar! 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 God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, calm down. We can handle this, okay? We can handle this. Remember, you, you hit me first. We've been married for over a year. You think I don't know when you're lying? Well, a year really isn't that long. Ah! You will tell me where you're going! Okay, okay, fine. It's not that big of a deal, really. I'm just gonna punch in the Terminal X. Cyberspace? Honey, you promised me you wouldn't do any more hacking. But this is a- But what about our kids? Jenna is graduating from preschool. Preschool, Archie! Come on. My eighth grade graduation wasn't even that big. <laughs> She'll never be in a school that doesn't actually teach anything again. No. She's got 12 more years. Mom? Dad? What? Oh. What's going on? Jenna? Honey? Daddy's gonna go on a little trip for a little while. I need you to do me a favor. Okay. Make sure your mommy takes your medication, okay? <laughs> okay, go get some sleep. Isn't she cute? What was that? What was what? I'm not on any medication. Believe me, I know. This is a $2 billion gig. $2 billion? Is $2 billion really worth your life, Archie? I mean, think for once.
Imagine what kind of colleges our kids would be going to with that kind of money. I mean, without it, we might be uh, picking berries. Or maybe going to our savings. Bankrupt. Live in a tent in the middle of nowhere. Possibilities are endless, aren't they? I'll go pack your bags. I need a monitor. I need a good hairstylist. But while you appear to know nothing about fashion, I know a lot about cyberspace, so why don't we go on and get down to brass tacks? Or if you prefer, copper screws. <laughs> All right, so uh, what is this monitoring that is most needed? I need someone to monitor us as we hack into Terminal X. Terminal X! I know, I know, it's not something that you use. Oh. Mm. <gasps> I love a good heist! Oh, I've been wanting to get into Terminal X for years! But now, I have a scapegoat, slash partner. Oh, I could kiss you. You did. Oh, technology. Oh, science! Oh, the beauty of science. How adequately does it caress me? Its electrons excite me. Its tectonics move me. Science is the only mistress whose periods I adore. <laughs> Splinter. Nobody respects the art of the soliloquy anymore. Believe it or not, I need you for something more productive than verbal masturbation. Well, it appears we have a lot of work to do. I know I'm gonna need that map. Our mission is to hack into cyberspace. Not just any part of cyberspace, Terminal X. Unfortunately, terminals are prohibited to all but employees. Unlike Terminals A and B, Terminal X is not a business sector, so we'll have no one to blend in with. Somehow, we need to infiltrate the terminal and rescue Lucas, a cyberpuncher who got captured doing the exact same thing we're about to do. Care to explain your team? We have Arch, our strategist, Luke, our navigator, Splinter, our monitor. Splinter? I hardly even know her. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's all we need. Don't you have a hitter? I mean, you're going to Terminal X. You need someone with some combat training. Luke and I have extensive training in firearms. I was a hitter. Years of combat training. Probably face every situation it was in cyberspace. You're 19. I don't waste time. Where's your PhD? You've got a PhD? What college was that? Oh, I didn't go to college. I hacked into Hale University and blackmailed the dean, giving me an honorary degree. And that's our educational system, gentlemen. If we're gonna slip Max in the Terminal X, we need to create a distraction. If you create a big enough disturbance in the backup sector of Terminal X, then the antivirus would be too busy defending its recovery files to even notice the smaller problem. Max, he should be able to get pretty far into the core before they try to stop it. Max will then knock out part of System 32, sending Terminal X way out of whack. That'll buy us just enough time to head down to the Matrix flatline, rescue Lucas, and upload that virus that'll win us two billion dollars. <laughs> 
Terminal X has the best malware and antivirus teams available. We need weapons. And we need to be as deadly and accurate as possible. Be here at 2 o'clock tomorrow. We start jacking in immediately. And look nice, too. What? Luke, look out behind you! Oh, asshole. <laughs> did, did you sleep here? Yeah. What? I, I don't want to go back to the blue box. <laughs> you live in a blue box? Where do you live? <laughs> With my parents. This looks like a normal projector screen, doesn't it? WRONG! I've outfitted it with a liquid mercury microchip that can handle up to six hours of digital manipulation! I wonder what would happen if we uh, hatched some baby turtle eggs in his hair. <laughs> As I was saying... Oh, and his name's Splinter, it's perfect! <laughs> I have a question. Um, do your parents live in a sewer by any chance? Do your parents live in a maximum security prison for arson charges that they didn't commit? Because I can make that happen. As I was saying, this modified bookshelf that I bought off of Craig's Bay will allow us to have smooth entrance into Terminal X. I've hotwired your phone so that I can track you. You've hotwired our phones? Your texts are interesting. Calm down, we can hack my phone too. Your wife's insane, but kinky. Is this gonna be painful? Oh, are you gonna soil your panties, little girl? No. I'm just clarifying. Well, this portal's made for walking, so as long as you don't ride your menstrual cycle through, you'll be fine. Why didn't you just go steal Christmas or something? Enough! I had the algorithm to get to the firewall of Terminal X. Oh, well, uh, I appreciate the thought. But you forget who hacked Godzilla onto every electronic billboard in a very frightened Tokyo. Besides, it's much faster to crash straight through the firewall. Oh, come on! Kidding. All right. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Oh, 
sweet smell of cyberspace. Focus, all right, Luke? What, I can't enjoy the sweet smell of the money we're making? <laughs> <laughs> Dead men don't need money. We're gonna make it out of this alive, okay, buddy? Well, I'm not worried about me. You're the distraction. Now, are you sure you can make it to the core alone? Well, that's all up to you, isn't it? Okay, you convinced me. Now, why don't we give the distraction the bigger gun, and I give you the small one? All right, Luke, I guess I can take your load for you. <laughs> Stay with Arch and be safe, okay? All right. Let's bowl the asses, I guess. from a limited supply, Luke. They're digital. They, have, they can make as much as they want. We only bought a few clips. Wait till they see the white of their eyes then, huh? Luke, they don't have faces. Yeah. They thought of everything. God! How long are you gonna shoot at us? Guns are for pussies! Luke, are you sure this is the right place? Luke! Luke! God dang it. Drop the gun. I could shoot you right now, you little peasant. Drop it. All right, ask for it. It's empty. Shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgot the guards' guns were empty. <laughs> <laughs> his face. I didn't expect to see him until after we got Lucas. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh, hey, man. You all right? Where have you been? You know, just walking around. And no big deal. Something isn't right. That man? No, it's like, it's like they know we're here. I think we might be ambushed. How is that possible? That's all I'm going to find out. I'll find out. Could have just used your own phone. Hello? Splinter! Oh, wow. It's somebody's time of the month. Listen, eco-friendly Satan. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, you big testosterone silo, you. Watch your blood pressure. Splinter, please. Okay. Uh, what's up? One of the henchmen found us. Pretty sure we're being ambushed. Are you sure? It doesn't say there's anybody there. Maybe it's all that red meat talking. Okay, where's Max? Is he in, is he in there? Don't move. Uh, uh, oh. uh. Max? Hey. Did you get caught too? Did you shut down the cards? I was going to, but then I ended up here. Cyber punchers? No, we're just visiting. Of course we're cyber punchers. Who are you? You already know who I am. Who is she? You're she. Who? The Matrix Flatline! Yes. I am the Matrix Flatline. The computer system that is controlling me is in the system core, where you will never reach. How'd you find us? When you entered, it was quite obvious what you were after. It was quite noisy as well. Who sent you? Well, um... I think I might know. I know everything that goes on around here. I'm programmed that way. Lucas sent you. Ha! You're wrong! Lucas is the one that got caught. I guess you really don't know anything. Clever one, I see. Maybe it is you who really doesn't know anything. Lucas is a code name for AI. Artificial intelligence? Then who's Berkeley? Dr. Berkeley was involved back in the Korean War. He died in battle. <laughs> Start making sense! He is only a data construct. What? Where are you guys? You don't just disappear like that. Come on. Where are your beacons? I don't want to put them on your phones. That doesn't make sense. Did you lose service? Oh, I knew we should have changed carriers. Did I not pay the bills? No, I paid the bills. I always pay the bills. When I have money. Shit. Hey, 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 you can't come in here. Hey, ow, hey, come on. He is surely not stable and will die. He was reprogrammed by Lucas to do the job he wants. Shit, two billion dollars, shit. Hey, hey, no, 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 come on, no, that doesn't happen. No, people don't just walk in and die. Come on, hey, hey. No, stop it. Okay, look. Wake up. Please. Please. Please wake up. You're like 200 pounds and my limit is 50. I love you. That usually works. Okay, um... Oh, I can't do it. Frick, frick. Okay, okay.
okay, we're compromised. We're compromised. We're compromised. We're compromised. We gotta come up with something to do. We gotta do something. We gotta do something. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. I love my cannabis bag. Okay. All right. Think, brain. Think. You've never let me down before. Except every time I've tried to talk to a girl. We can do it. All right. Come on. You know Lucas. He's my husband. We were programmed for one thing and one thing only. Cyberspace. He wants you to help him reunite with me. Well, guess what? That will never happen. As long as I live, I will control cyberspace. The future of cyberspace will involve weaponry and war. It's my destiny. So, we were rescuing Lucas for cyberspace. Who was caught before? Max? Come on. He was sent by Lucas before to do the same job, but he failed and he was suspended. You will be suspended too, but for Maximus, the penalty will be far beyond your dreams. Are you okay? Oh, right, right. Sorry. Where have you been? Uh, just, you know, being tortured. How? I don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> so, care to explain yourself, Max? Our plan wouldn't have failed if you would have just told us. This is your fault. We're stuck in this freaking room because you won't tell us what's going on. Hey, calm your ass down. How can I calm down when my kids are waiting for me at home? Where's the $2 billion, Luke? Who's giving us the $2 billion? This is a total waste of time. I was here! I was cyber punching for Lucas. The same job we're doing now. I infiltrated Terminal X. I was at the console uploading the virus. Then Yin showed up. That's why I'm suspended. Yin is unstoppable. What do you mean unstoppable? He's part of an experiment. The results of efforts trying to combine cyberspace and reality more intimately. Even though he's part of the circuitry of Terminal X, he retains his humanity, his intuition. Everything people have, the computer lacks. I was so close. Why are we doing this? Look, I'll find you guys two billion dollars if you need it that badly. But you guys need this. You need cyberspace. Arch, you know how much it's done for education. And Luke, well, if you'd like to conduct illegal activities. But all over the world, people use cyberspace to communicate with relatives they could never see otherwise. Lives, jobs, families. So much depends on it. Naturally, now that I think about it, if it weren't for cyberspace, I wouldn't have met you. Oh, come on. You two can have your moment later. We need to get out of here and get the job done. We need to rethink the plan, Arch. Only slightly. You still need to get to the core. We'll go with you. And when Yin comes by, I'll fight it. That's insane. He's more than you can handle. Once you upload the virus, we'll meet you at the extraction point outside. Problem. How are we going to get out of here? There's a shaft over here. You didn't say anything until now? I thought this conversation was important. We ought to let Splendor know what we're up to. We'll need some more scanning. Well, it's about time you ring me up. Something happened to Berkeley. Are there any guards out there? Wait, you didn't shut down the guards? No. <laughs> well, fortunately, very lucky for you, the guards seem to be in standby mode. There's just one. 
He has a really strong energy reading. I, I, I don't know where he came from. Yeah. Thank you, Splinter. We'll be at the extraction point soon. You got one hour left on the clock. Good luck. How much time? An hour. We better get going before we get stuck here. Got it. Yes. All right, let's stick together, guys. Shit. You better go, Maximus. You can't deal with him alone. We can for a few minutes. As soon as you finish, we can pull out. First, that's what she said. Second, go. Damn it. I got this. I'm, I'm alive! You don't know what you're doing. You need Lucas to help you. You're confused. Just as I was. Lost. Contained in your own little world. You were here before. I was. But I was weak. I was sent to fix a bug in your programming. A loophole that would have allowed anyone with the wrong mindset to take control of you. So instead, I... You tried to kill me. I could have. I had cyberspace. I stood in front of the core for what felt like hours. It was only 56 seconds. Don't flatter yourself. I knew it was the wrong thing to do. But control over cyberspace. Control of the military. Control over currency. Over communications. Over everything. Yet you took the job. I did. But I never planned to succeed. I still have the patch codes. I'm not uploading that virus even if Berkeley kills me. As long as your money-hungry friend doesn't do it first. He can't have cyberspace for the same reason that I can't. It's too much for one person. I want to make sure it stays free. Then there is hope. For the future. For a new direction. Installing your update, Terminal X must reboot. Shit! Excuse me.
Hey man, I'm alive. I can see that. Okay, should be home in a few minutes. Oh. Well done, boys. Well done. What happens now? It already has happened. Change. I'm part of cyberspace once again, thanks to you, boys. So what? Are you, are you a god or something? Note to self. Change name to god. But I didn't upload the- The virus would have killed me. I created Berkeley to find someone to fix what was broken. Needless to say, his loyalty wavered. And the flatline? Doing her job. In charge of storing your data after you die. In cyberspace, nothing fades. And now that I've been restored, nobody can misappropriate its power again. Wait, um, I have something to ask you. Where's my money? Right here. It's all in there, boys.